hello friends welcome to another video hope you're having a good day so friends in this video i will talk about how to participate in the icos and what are, what are the basic requirements how to create wallets like my ether wallet or neon wallet because there are few of my subscriber uh, who are part of my telegram group and they've been asking uh, me to make a video you know on how to participate into the ICOs they are new to the market so this video is mainly for the people who are new to the ICO market so before we start if you can see here Zebi is doing very well it's blasting today if you look at here at the IDEX it has good volume and it is climbing you know upward if you go back a few days back you know when I made video to buy Zebi it was like 0 0.000134 in Ethereum and it is up like 50% from there. So people who have bought on my advice on that day are uh, making good gains and I think it will continue to do well. So let's get started on how to participate in the ICOs. So for example, let's say you are living in India and you are having your fiat money in your bank account and you want to invest into ICOs. So what you have to do is there are various exchanges in India where you have to create your account. The most reputable name is Zeppe uh, and it's very old name. It's been uh, in the market I think for last few years. So if you go uh, at your Play Store in your smartphone and download Zeppe and there is a simple KYC process. So you have to do your KYC like you have to provide your document and a check cancel check you know to link bank account with your Zepay account you know to transact back and forth and then once your account is ready you have to deposit money in your Zepay account let's say you're depositing 50,000 you deposit 50,000 in your Zepay account and you can go and buy Ethereum because most of the ICOs are Ethereum based, ERC20 based and in most cases you have to buy ICOs through Ethereum. So once you buy your Ethereum, you are good to go. Now what you have to do is you have to create an account, a wallet that is called My Ether Wallet. So that, that is most popular wallet to invest in the ICOs. So I'll walk you through step by step how to uh, create wallet how to store private keys so you will uh, be able to participate into the ICOs so if you look at here you can see myetherwallet.com so you have to be very uh, particular about the URL and the certificate you have to see this green bar myetherwallet you have to click it and you can see the certificate is valid and this is https colon forward slash www.myetherwallet.com so you have to bookmark this because there are many incidents where hackers scammers are making a site a phishing site that is just like my ether wallet and once you enter your credentials they are able to uh, you know take your private keys and stealing your funds so you know you have to bookmark it and you have to be very very careful so here I am, I've just clicked on new wallet. What you have to do is you have to enter a strong password and you need to remember it. So I'm entering the password and I'm creating a new wallet. So I have to click on create new wallet. Now what you have to do is you have to download this key store file. This is very important. Download it on your machine and also you can take a copy you know backup copy and store it in a flash drive pen drive so here you have to download so you can see here it is being downloaded i will go ahead and okay so what i'll do is i'll cut it and i'll put it into test wallet because you know i have my own wallet so i might get confused later on so yeah so here I have downloaded and stored the UTC file, the JSON file. And now I understand and continue. So this is very important part. If you look at here, save your private key. 
So this is your key and it is very important. You no need to share this with anyone. Once you share this key, the fund will be out from your account. So this is for you and you have to store it in safe place. So you have to copy it and you can make a note and can keep in flash drive. Or you can click on here, print paper wallet. And you can print this wallet and lock it in, in, your, uh, in some place, you know, in your house. So that, you know, you'll remember the private key and all the important credentials. So here, you have to save your address. So it is done. So your wallet is created. It's very easy. And, you know, you can easily do that. So what you have to do is now the wallet is created. So now I am clicking on view wallet info. So let's say if you have to send ether and tokens, you have to click on send ether and tokens. And then you have to uh, click on key store. So how you want to unlock. So there are various ways. If you're using hardware wallet, that is very good, very safe. So here you can select ledger wallet or treasure wallet. I am using ledger and I'm also buying treasure. So here you can see all the options. So now, I'm seeing just the wallet information. So I've clicked on view wallet information. Now I've clicked on this key store because we have just downloaded it. We have to go select wallet file. And if you can see here, test wallet, I have to just double click it and need to enter the password. So the wallet is getting unlocked. Yeah, it is unlocked now. You can see this is your account address. So this is your public address. So this address you have to share. Let's say you have to take, you know, you have to send Ethereum from your Zeppe, which you have bought, you know, on Indian exchange. So you have to go send Ethereum and this will be your address. So this is your public address and this you can share, not the private key. So here is your wallet. Now your wallet is with you and now you're good to go. So if you're participating in any ICO, there is a contract address, the Ethereum contract address, where you need to send funds. So in that case, you have to go send an Ether and tokens, and you have to unlock your wallet. Same way, double click, enter your password, unlock, and here you are. So you have to enter the address of the ICO, which will be given by the projects, by the company. And you have to verify it twice, thrice. You have to verify it on, your, on their website, on their telegram. You have to double check uh, on Twitter. So you don't need to blindly send any fund. You can also check on Etherscan. So here you can also check the address so that you know, have fair idea, okay, is this a valid contract address or not? So here you have to enter that address and the Ethereum that you want to send, let's say one Ethereum, and the gas limit will auto adjust. Here is GUI. So if you want to make it fast, you can pay little extra fees and you can make it fast. So in ICOs, I normally do 60 or more than that, or the recommended one, because many ICOs recommend GUI and the gas limit. So you have to follow them. So now we are done with the ERC20 based ICOs. So what you have to do is you, you have to first download the Zeppe account, Indian exchange, and buy Ethereum with your fiat money and transfer that Ether to my Ether wallet and it will be stored here. You know, you can see account and you can see here the balance. And once uh, you, you have to participate, you just need to go to my Ether wallet and you need to send and that's you are done. So you have participated in the Ethereum based ICO. Now moving on, how you can participate in NEO based ICO. Let's say you have to buy NEP5 tokens or any ICO that is on NEO smart economy. So let's say how to do that. So I will go ahead on NEO website. If you look at here, so here is NEO website neo.org i will add this into description so that you know because you have to be very careful if you're opening any website you don't need to go to google and search because 
you know, there are a lot of phishing websites and a lot of scammers, you know, making similar websites, you know, they are just changing, let's say they are removing S or O or some, you know, just it will look like the original one, but if it is phishing website and you land there, you are exposed, you know, your private key and other information are exposed and it's very vulnerable, you know, you might get hacked. So you have to be careful, you know, while accessing any website. So here is the website. I'm just refreshing it so that I can show it to you from beginning. So you have to click on client. Once you click on client, here are the wallets, you know. I use Neon wallet that is lightweight client and easy to use and very fast. I, you know, I don't use these uh, wallets. They are heavy, you know, and takes a lot of time, you know, to download and to set it up. So I would recommend you to download Neon wallet. So you have to click on download and the file will be downloaded. I have already downloaded it. So I will show it from here, from my machine. So it is a Neon. It is already there on my machine. So what you have to do is, you have to create a, a new wallet, like we did for my ether. So you have to click on create new wallet. And again, you have to enter a password. Password should be strong, you know, combination of capital, small, and the special number, you know, special case like at the rate or hash or, you know, something like that. So here you have to again enter the password and generate keys. So once you click on generate keys, it will ask for the name. So if you look at here, you have to give a name to this account. Let's say I'm giving it test one. So you have to print this. You have, you just have to download this file, the page where you have your public address. This is your public address. Again, you have to share your public address, not the private address. You have to be very careful. And here is the private key. So what you have to do, do is you can click on print and you can print it and you'll, you can keep it, you know, at safer place. Now you have to save your account. Before saving, make sure you have, you know, backed it up, you have your public address and private key with you. Now save account. The account is saved as test one. Now you can close it from here and now you can unlock the wallet like we did for my ether. So you have to go login using a saved wallet. This option you have to select. Or if you just want to log in directly with your private key, you can click here, here, private key. And with encrypted key, you can click here. And if you're using a hardware wallet like I do, we need to click on logging using a ledger. So these are the options. So like we just downloaded the uh, wallet file, so we'll go with this option. Select wallet file. So I have to select test one and need to enter the password login so this is the interface of neon wallet it is very easy to use and you know very small to navigate yeah you can see here the wallet you have zero neo and gas so if you have to receive new, you have to click on receive and this is your public address. So what you have to do is you have your account with Indian exchange Zeppay. So what you can do is you can buy Bitcoin or Ethereum because Zeppay does not support Neo. So first you have to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum and then you need to send it to international exchange. It could be Binance or KuCoin, whatever you like. And you need to create an account on Binance to buy new. So once you have account on Binance, you can buy new with your BTC or ETH. And once you have new, you can send that new to your Neon wallet. So this address, on this address, you have to send your new. And once you receive your new, you can see the balance here, you know, number of new, whatever you have sent, like two new or five new. And then you can participate in the ICO. So from here, you can click on send. And then wherever you want to send, you can send.
So these are two important wallets, guys, because most of the ICOs are coming on uh, Ether or Neo. So you need to have these two wallets in order to participate in the ICOs. What I'll do is in description, I will add the link to download my Ether wallet and Neon wallet. If you'll have any questions, please ask, comment, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like my video, videos and share my videos. Have a good day.